Nothing proves your gaming influence like holding a world record. Well, if you're looking for a claim to fame, move along because these records seem pretty much unbeatable, and probably always will be. On February 16, 2016, Street Fighter superstar Ryan Hart added one of his most impressive records to an already decorated competitive gaming career. Facing off against 260 other world warriors, Hart snagged the Guinness World Record for the most consecutive opponents fought in Street Fighter V. That's not as easy as it sounds. Unlike many other marathon-based records, Hart had to battle for 11 hours without stopping. And get this, he defeated literally every single opponent thrown at him. Forget record-breaking stamina, that's a superhuman ability. Ken and Ryu would be proud. You win! Video game actors just don't get the same respect as their television and movie counterparts. But over the past decade or so, a few people have emerged from the recording booth to become legitimate celebrities. None of them, however, can hold a candle to Steve Bloom, who officially became the most prolific voice actor in video game history back in 2012. Back off! Die! Eat it! Squish! Meat mouth! Bone bag! Die. Fido! He got dead flesh on my new boots. Since then, his list of credits has only gotten longer. When Guinness first gave Bloom the record, he had appeared in a mere 261 video games, starting with the classic 1995 LucasArts adventure game, Full Throttle. By 2017, Bloom had added over 100 more virtual roles to his resume, bringing the total to 366, and that number is still going up. Ask any rando on the street what the biggest MMORPG on the planet is, and chances are they'll say World of Warcraft, and they'd be wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong. As of July 2017, when Guinness World Records gave Jagex's free-to-play MMORPG RuneScape the nod for the most users of an MMO video game, it's had 254,994,744 verified users. To put that into perspective, if RuneScape were a country, it'd be the fifth biggest in the world. RuneScape's success is simple. Not only is it constantly attracting new users via regular updates, but it's been around for the better part of two decades. Hey, every other game ever made, good luck beating that. It's not gonna happen. In 2014, an anonymous developer launched an ambitious and chaotic social experiment on Twitch. Basically, they let viewers collectively play the very first Pokemon game by spamming the channel's chat feed with commands. And somehow, the community managed to beat the game. 390 hours and countless memes later, the hero Red finished Pokemon's main campaign and beat the Elite Four with an all-star team. Twitch Play's Pokemon was, for a while, extremely popular. Guinness World Records says that 1,165,140 people contributed to Red's journey, making Twitch Play's Pokemon the record holder for the most participants on a single-player online video game. Sure, multi-participant single-player online video games aren't exactly a thing, but hey, a record is a record. Now, while most of the other records on this list are something to applaud, this one is pretty much not. That's because when you've got a franchise as big as Call of Duty, that also means you've got droves of very, very vocal fans, which can lead to some very, very unfortunate records. As such, Call of Duty players showed their displeasure for an Infinite Warfare's trailer by flooding it with downvotes, making it the most disliked gaming video in YouTube history. As of autumn 2018, the trailer has received 3.7 million thumbs down. Why? Well, it was just too far removed from the franchise's roots. Fans complained ad nauseum about the spacefaring shenanigans, and even the franchise's most dedicated players scoffed at stylistic similarities to Halo and Titanfall. These days, it seems unlikely that anything else will generate enough hate to steal Infinite Warfare's unfortunate record. 